Now, the hormones okay. which are carried to the pituitary. Yeah. The anterior lobe produces five hormones. Yeah. And they are controlled by the hypothalamus. Hypothalamus through the neurotransmitter Hy secreted in the portal circulation. Okay. But HP axis. That's the HP yeah. axis. While the posterior pituitary is yeah. connected to the hypothalamus to the neural tract. Okay. Which carries the ready-made hormone to the posterior pituitary. Okay. So the posterior pituitary does not uh, secrete its own hormones. No. It That's just a, uh, it's a delivery system for the yeah. hormone secreted by the hypothalamus. Yes. Okay. Now there are two hormones secreted by the posterior pituitary, ADH yeah. and oxytocin. Yeah. Then the ADH is very important. We can get both the situation in the post-operative period. Yeah. One is SIADH. Syndrome of inappropriate ADH secretion. Sorry, can you just repeat that? Syndrome of inappropriate ADH secretion. SIADH. Yeah, SIADH, yeah. At the same time, yeah. uh, converse to it, the patient can develop diabetic insipidus. Diabetes it, insipidus. Yeah. ADH is supposed to uh, supposed to reduce the water, the water content yes. of the urine. Uh, responsible for water retention by the kidney. Yeah. If the posterior pituitary is damaged during surgery, yeah, there will be diabetes insipidus. Yes, the, the all water will be lost, lost through the kidney. Yeah, and the electrolyte imbalance will be there. Okay. So in the post-operative period uh, after pituitary surgery, yeah, one has to have a complete input-output charting. Okay. And fluid input should be positive in balance. Okay. So the patient should have a fluid retention. Yeah. Okay. Second situation is syndrome of inappropriate ADH secretion. Okay. Which can happen. What will that do? It will conserve the water. Yeah. Kidney will conserve the water and give a situation of hyponatremia. It will dilute the electrolytes. Yeah. So that will be hyponatremia. Both situations are dangerous, hyper and hyponatremia. Yeah. So after pituitary surgery, when you keep the patient under yeah. intensive care unit, you should watch for signs like confusion, drowsiness, yeah. all so those. Two things. One is daily electrolyte. Yeah. And if required in between. Okay. That is essential. Second, daily once a day is enough? Yeah, once a day. If the patient is okay, then yeah. once a day. Okay. But that is essential. Even yeah. if the patient is okay. Okay. Second thing is fluid charting. Okay. Third is that depends upon if you have given any complication okay. like CSF leak. Okay. All those series of uh, complications starts with the CSF leak. Yeah. Like if there is CSF leak, yeah. it can lead to meningitis. Yeah. If there is a rent in the arachnoid leading to CSF leak, yeah. it may give rise to a pneumocephalus. Okay. And post-operatively, if your patient becomes as having headache, drowsy, yeah. vomiting, you must be careful, get a CT scan done immediately. To okay. rule out the pneumocephalus. Okay. So that is something. Uh, so post-operative care of the pituitary is very very important. It's a very dangerous situation because sometimes you just uh, think that the patient is not completely out of anesthesia, and you think that it, it's actually drowsiness, mm. and the patient is non-responsive. But we confuse it with patient not being out of anesthesia. That's why all efforts should be taken. Yeah. To avoid CSF leak. So that's and the starting point for any yeah. kind of complication. Yeah, because this is totally extradural structure. Yeah. You know? I'm starting the DCR here. Okay. And Pankaj Bose is starting the revision pituitary. pituitary over there. Okay. I will join him later. Okay. And on the third table after the DCR, Dr. I'll be Ashim taking is... a interesting isolated frontal sinusitis. Okay. Uh, Iatrogenic frontal sinusitis, I would say, okay. for the middle turbinate is retracted to the lateral wall, sinachia, yeah. is led to the frontal recess blockage. Okay. So, are you getting picture? Yeah, we are getting quite a deviated septum there. Yeah, it's almost always yeah. on the same <laughs> side when you get this yeah. decrisis titis. Maybe, uh, I do not know. It may contribute to some or other way to the nasolacrimal duct. I don't know. Okay. See the middle meters? Yeah, we can see that. Unseen it and the bulla there.
our target area is now anterior to the unseated. This yeah. flat area known as atrium. And see this prominence. This is the unseated. Yeah. And see this prominence harboring the nasal lacrimal. process, yes. Yes, frontonasal process of maxilla. Yeah. This nasal lacrimal duct yes. is formed by three bones basically. Yeah. Laterally all the way by the frontonasal process, yeah. which is the thicker bone, yes. very thick bone, and medially uh, contributed by the thinner bones, above by the lacrimal bone, yeah. and below by the lacrimal process, process of, of inferior, inferior turbinate. turbinate. So these are thin bones, that's why while using the reverse biting, yeah. sometimes you, have bit, you may have bitten the nasolacrimal duct yeah. and you don't realize if you come across a hard bone, that means that is a frontal nasal process, then obviously you stop. Yeah. Realizing that you may bite the duct. Yeah. But sometimes you don't realize and bite the thinner bones. Yeah, that is why it is important to not, be in the lower half of yeah, the unseated process. What will that do? That'll you may not realize space. intraoperative, immediate postoperative, but that will lead to scarring in the duct. Yeah. Fibrosis and then patient will present with the epiphora. So what do you do by mistake if some amateur ENT surgeon has damaged the nasolacrimal duct then what do you do? See it depends whether he has realized intraoperatively or not. Okay. If you have realized intraoperatively that you may have bitten the duct or you have injured the duct okay. for sure. Okay. Then prophylactically you do a you DCR. Give patient, no, 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 no need of DCR. No, no, you have to give a wash. Just post operatively frequent syringing yeah. to flush the fibro, uh, the thing clots, blood clots, or any other tissue which yeah. may lead to scar formation. Okay. See what I have done? This decongestion. Okay? Yeah. yeah. See how is the area now? <coughs> yeah. Oh, you local there. Now, our, uh, I'll raise a flap in this case, our technique, I, I'm going to show this. There is one step that Satish does that you should watch when he gets his caries and punch in. This DCR surgery is a very rewarding surgery if done properly. The only problem is the re-stenosis which can be avoided by a good surgical technique most of the times. See, what earlier, what people used to do from the medial side from the nose, they just make an opening in the sac and come out. Yeah. Bound to get closed. Raised nose. So you have to do some sort of marsupialization. Yeah, open it like a book and leave it continuous yeah, with the mucosa. Not only a small opening, you have to make a big opening. Wide. Make, wide a, make two flaps like a book. So there is no question of raised stenosis. Yeah. So I am giving this five minutes. So that it doesn't bleed much and okay. This nasolacrimal system yeah. has thirteen walls in total. Yeah. The only prominent wall we know is the wall of Hessner. Yeah. The mini wall at the junction of the canaliculi with the common canaliculus, Rosenberg wall, has thirteen named walls. Regarding the workup, syringing is the most important investigation, but it becomes very difficult sometimes to differentiate between a major uh, lacrimal duct obstruction or a common canalicular obstruction. And sometimes, you, when you open, you find the common canalicular obstruction, and then the surgery goes utter failure. So preoperatively. Besides syringing, if you yeah. are in doubt, you can get a decryocystography done. 
simple test inject dye and get a x-ray done if yeah. the sac is filling means that rules out the major uh, common canalicular obstruction so uh, for work up one is decrease histography yeah and another is decrease histography gives a information of the mechanical potency of the nasal lacrimal duct but not the functional uh... yeah it's difficult so uh, scintigraphy of the nasal lacrimal duct by means of radio isotop now we have so uh, not pituitary available on both everywhere screens. yes gorav so yeah. radio isotop testing is the testing yeah to evaluate the functional potency of the system okay in which a radio isotop is yeah. topically yeah uh, instilled into the eye yeah and how it is carried down through the system yeah is mapped through the scanning yeah. you just take series yeah. of uh, pictures yeah. and then you identify the radio isotope so trickling down the that's the functional potency duct sir is sir uh, when do you perform a septal deviation correction in cases of dca but when do you perform a septal deviation correction in cases of dca i think we discussed that today morning when do you do yeah see had this deviation been uh, more significant definitely i would have okay. to nahi yeah. hai but this okay, is not yeah. significant so i am not doing see i am making a flap so my incisions for the flap are the inferior incision just above the inferior dominant attachment yes. my superior incision see what happens this lacrimal sac yeah. ex the dome of the sac extends Above Almost the axilla. Up to 0.8 millimeter to one centimeter above the, above the axilla. Yeah. So to ex mm. marsupialize the sac completely, you pottery. have to go above pottery, the axilla. Pottery section tip. Okay. Yeah. That is my superior Black incision. Tip. Yeah. And then I will join these two to raise this rhomboid shaped flap. Okay. Yeah, many many other flaps are. This I like this flap because you can deposit it back and minimize the raw area. Okay. A lot of people don't make any flap and just throw it out. Throw it away. No. 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 uh pankaj pass yes is this pituitary a revision case or a primary case no it, it is a revision case okay but the previous surgeon operated by the sublabial route sublabial yeah. microscopic okay microscopic. including the hardy uh, retract yeah, yeah, yeah. okay are you going to take the photo yes sir so this is our target area okay and this is the uh, the nasal lacrimal system yeah or see the uncinate is far behind it is here yeah and we are quite anterior to it okay okay yeah so i am pushing this flap between yeah. the middle terminate and septum for Throwing a while it backwards yeah until we do our finish our job the and job. then put it back here yeah no earlier as i told in the beginning the people used to just look for the sac and wherever they used to plan the sac could be here 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 and then open it just made an opening and come out so that led to lot of uh, restenosis okay and the problems in location of the sac yeah see if you practically think the sac leads to the nasal lacrimal duct yeah we know the nasal lacrimal duct is here and easiest to identify yeah i just bite this bone yeah in one bite you will see the nasal lacrimal duct okay so our approach is to find the nasal lacrimal duct and follow it up yeah it will lead to sac only nothing else okay my point so tell us what i am going to do is this way pakad so that see engage your carison over here take it see the thin duct Yeah. Thin bone over the duct. Yeah. So this is the easy part. Yeah. yeah. So he'll trace it from down, rather than trying to think whether this is because then when you start really moving it from the outside, everything moves, and everything starts seeming like the sac.
See if I mobilize from outside. Yeah, everything has started moving. <laughs> but it's so easy to identify the duct. Yeah. Now, now, now watch, watch his how his carison gets engaged. And it's not biting, it is also fracturing along the Now you have to remove this bone all the way up to the sac. Okay. Sometimes the bone is very thick. You may have to use a drill, gauze hammer, or many other means. But majority of the time, you can remove this entire bone, with the carison. So I will show how a big chunk of bone can be removed in one piece. That's a simple calculation. Big better than. I am inserting my carison over here. See this. In this angle, yeah, yeah, holding it tightly, now not, he will twist. not biting it, not biting it. Yeah, they go. Look at the crack. See this big chunk came yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he can't See the nasolacrimal duct. Yeah. Sometimes we get even a bigger piece. Bigger piece, all the way up, and the bone up. is not very thick. Yeah. But the ease with which he is able to engage, I think that is... Now, the important thing is, since we are going to marsupialize not only the sac, but the entire nasolacrimal system to prevent restenosis. That is the best way to prevent restenosis. So, I will expose more and more bone. Why I have raised this flap, I will tell you the reason. See, this area is the duct only, but I am going to remove this bone. So, once I marsupialize, the inner mucosa of the duct will cover this raw area. Got my point? Yeah. So, there is a wide, so once he opens the lumen, he will place the lumen, the sac wall to drape the bone. Yeah. 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 Ashish, yeah. one more bite I am going to take, same way. Yeah, yeah, same way. Now this, the power for this bite actually comes from his See, shoulder. I am not biting now. Yeah. I am just holding it yeah. and rotating it. Yeah. But this goes then, it, then superiorly it's difficult to engage. Yeah. So he gets yeah. the bone where you, you, know, you, don't, you can't engage but he still gets it out in this chunk. More thicker the bone, more the, the bigger would the piece would come. Yeah. If the bone is not very thick, so it is breaking. Sometimes you get the entire thing in one piece. Or sometimes the kerosene punch breaks. <laughs> See this? Yeah, 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 superb. Yeah, fantastic. Superb. Yeah. This was what one needs to see. So it's a simple so this is not the biting the action. This yeah. is the motor action. There. Yeah. Holding and rotating. Yeah. Holding tightly. Yeah. See now the entire he, nasal lacrimal Now system. he won't need to drill. Yeah. Yeah, See how the entire. This is the sac huh? upper. Uh, See, that is Agar Neji. Agar Neji, yeah. I will still expose the anteriorly, little bit more of the sac. I want to marsupialize <coughs> the largest possible part of the sac. It should not fall back. Ashish, you are doing this here now? At yeah, your yeah. center? Yeah, yeah. Yes, last time we did one over there. Yeah, yeah. I don't have much uh, volumes, but See? Yeah. I have opened the agar Yeah. 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 Expose the duct. This is the agonizing which I completely exposed. 
See the Super Now, I will remove the bone little more. Posteriorly, see this posteriorly. Yeah. Now, see the bone little more. Posteriorly, see this posteriorly. Yeah. See this. Over 180 degree of circumference. See the sack is ballooning. No. Suction though. Watch. So that should be posterior decompression of the side. See Ashish? Yeah. Up till here. It's almost 180 degree or more. Yeah. Now anterior I'll remove little bit more bone. Is Ashin there? No. With a carison. Yes. Here I'll remove little more bone. So I think the message is remove more the more bone than you think that is adequate. That is. See the sac and centrally and this uh, outer periosteum is there. Yeah. Until here. And see where have we reached one centimeter above the axilla. Okay. See where our incision was and we have removed the bone completely. Yeah. Till there. Okay. Yeah. Now, I'll use a 12 number knife. Yes, Ashish? Yeah. Now. <coughs> now. I am all set to open the sack, incise the sack. Now I will incise more towards the posterior end so that I can really make a big anterior flap. Okay? Yeah. See 12 number? Rip. Yeah. The bride are ready. Huh. Yeah, yeah. Yes, master. So that confirms the diagnosis. See this? Boss? Puri ki puri fat dali. It's not like a puncture here or there. The whole damn thing. My God, so much of... Look. Mm. Black. Fantastic man. Mm. Now, Merosel. So now what we are going to do is they are chota they are calmly. See the interior of the sack. Yeah. Superb. Now give me the scissors, spell the scissors there. First I will make the posterior flap. Release incision. Yes. So it should fall back. Yeah. It should not come back. At the superior level. So this is autology scissor. No, no, this is rhinology scissor. See this? Yeah. So he's reverting now. Making that cover the posterior part. This is the inferior release incision. So that it will see it has fallen back. Yeah. And never going to come back. Now for the anterior luxury. No. I am using a sharp right angle hook. Really. A sharp right angle hook. 
नॉट वेरी शार्प नाउ श्री आशीष विल कट थ्रू मोटा हो गया काट काट के शार्प इट रियली कट वेरी वेल कटिंग वाला वो वो विवेक ज्यादा रिवर्स कटिंग से करता है दैट फ्लैप यस सुपर इट हैज कवर्ड ऑलमोस्ट एंटायर ऑयल फैंटेस्टिक दिस इज वेयर द प्लेसमेंट ऑफ एशिया एंड यू से यू रिमूव द बोन बिकॉज so this more sac will be exposed yeah there will be more marsh supplies you see this sac mucosa ah yeah it is covering the raw area okay yeah now this is the now i will now syringe and show where the common canaliculus is the idea behind going high up is to expose the common canaliculus So the patient doesn't have any adhesions in that area if it is not yeah. exposed. I'll, I'll stabilize. I'll stabilize these flaps with a gel foam. Okay. With a huge, yeah, this whole lacrimal system completely marsupialized. Boss, you can put it now. Now I'll freeze the area. बस पकड़ना टेलीस्कोप ले जा दोनों बॉडी ले जा ले जा देना रे वो प्रोब कैनुला जरा लाइट दिखा फिर गया जस्ट अ मिनट आशीष आशीष या या Doctor Gupta will show it for the telescope. Yeah. And I am doing syringing to show you where exactly the common canaliculus open into the sac. Down, wala punch. Down. You can. Can you see above? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that is the level of the common canaliculus above. Yeah. So now the last thing is to keep these flaps Flap in place the, yeah. with the gel foam. Yeah. I'm. Okay. I will. Whatever more simplified, I will again convert yeah, it into a duct. My number is nine eight two zero five. Now my first gel form is superiorly to yeah, keep to this. keep that in. Yeah, so not allow it to unfold. Hey, this posterior yeah. flap, superb. For a shorter there is. Now, for the anterior flap, I place first in the duct, then bring it out anteriorly.
See this sack? Yeah. Superb. Just to hold this in place. The gel form with the blood holds it so easily. See, still it is not soaked in the blood. Once it is soaked in the blood completely, it will hold like anything. Like, see the uh, gel form placed posteriorly. Yeah, yeah. तो दबा दिया तुमने जेल फोन को। ओके? या। वन लास्ट पीस और सी द यूज़। या इनसाइड ऑफ़ इसे। वी सी इन फॉलो अप। या। द नेजो लेक्यूमल ओपनिंग ऑफ़ मोर देन द सेंटीमीटर इन साइज़। सुपर मास्टर। टू गुड। थैंक यू डियर। अपने आप सोचते हैं। किसी से डिस्कस नहीं करते हैं। Still not soaked in the blood. Once it is completely soaked in the blood, start folding. Getting it soaked in the blood. Or if you have a rich patient, you can use tissue glue. Okay? Hello? Hello? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Satish. Yeah. See the sack. Oh, now, yeah. oh last... okay. Thank you. Are, oh, is this is a... The last part is... See... Uh, Ashish... Yeah. A lot of raw area below here. Achha. The last part is... The flap also you are releasing, na? The flap which we replace posteriorly is now being released. फिर दिल चल रही है क्या दिल दिल है ना बड़ी सी बड़ा दिल लग रहा है हेलो या हम कन्वर्टिंग अगेन इनटू अ कैनाल ल्यूमन एंड द ल्यूमन इस बीइंग कवर्ड बाय दिस फ्लैप Ashish, ah. this flap has completely covered the raw area below. Yeah. See now, you must be feeling that I have, it may block the duct. You have what? It may block the duct. Ah. Number one, yeah. we have drained the duct above. So yeah. blocking below is never an issue. Yeah. Number two, ball throw up there. Number two, duct cannot be blocked because the inside of the duct is smooth mucosa. Hmm. Hmm? Yeah. Simply it cannot be blocked. See, this is the new duct now rather. See this. Okay? Yeah. And see, there is no raw area. We won't yeah. pack the nose with anything. It doesn't bleed. Hmm. No pack. Because it doesn't want to get anything to get dislodged also. I'll just keep uh, one or two pieces of gel form to keep. See my previous gel form and a duct open. Hello, let's go the gel form. Gel form. 
just to keep this flap takes up very well just to keep this flap in position this flap So this is the opening now. Final. Hello. Uh, yeah, Satish. The final opening Every is there. Every step has to be here to apply your mind. Hello. Yeah, yeah, Satish. Yeah. Anybody Super. Have? Any query? Anything? No query, master. This is like too good. Post op management. Kuch lagta hai isko? Just soul spur. Huh? Soul spur. Yeah. Nasal yeah. spray. Soul Nasal spur. Spray. Douche. Douche. Yes. With the soul spur only, nothing else. Boss, if you inject that, you can do it. Hello? Ashish? Yeah. One side I am going to the frontal. Uh, I told you the revision where the middle turbinate is blocked laterally. Haan. This is hydrogenic. The other side, you must be watching on the other screen? Yes, we are watching. Uh, and now both screens are showing the same thing. Both screens. You are off, the, I think the pituitary uh, is on. The pituitary. So I will ask him to. Uh, change to one screen to pituitary and one screen uh, the size. Okay? Yeah. Into your face of the spinoid. And uh, I am drilling it. Hello. Just to make a change in the climate. Mm. Yeah. See the sphenoid, anterior face of the sphenoid. Like uh, there are various ways to remove the bone. Like I removed with the gauze and hammer the entire keel. Mm. And he prefers to drill. drill. Yeah. How about this cutting drill may be dangerous. Why don't you use a diamond? No, I am working uh. on the anterior wall. No? Yeah, yeah. So he's, and he's widening the sphenoid anterior wall with a drill. I'm using three hands. Yeah. Right hand, SMS. That's one of the things. 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 That's one of the Suction holder. <laughs> Endoscope and suction in one hand. Hmm. A debrider this in the fantastic. other hand. Fantastic. Yeah? Irrigation is coming through the... No, irrigation, irrigation by assistant. Yeah. So, the, the, the irrigation is through the drill only, no? Yeah, it is with drill and... Uh, no, as, as, uh, supplemented by an yeah. external. Yeah. picture yeah.
look at this patient. Yeah. He has a right sided isolated frontal sinusitis. Right sided isolated, yeah, okay. Okay. Left side is clear. Okay. As a, uh, got done somewhere, it's a revision. When I put the endoscope, he came with a severe pain in the forehead region on the right side and pain in the eye, right eye. Now, when I put the endoscope, see the isolated frontal, see the finding. This was the endoscopic finding which I am going to show you. See the middle turbinate, stump of the middle turbinate. Hello? Yeah. Stump of the middle turbinate mm. attached to the lateral wall. Yes. Can yes. you see? That's block it blocked the frontal recess. This is one more variety adding to the frontal workshop. Yeah. Very unique. Are you picture endoscopic? Endoscopic picture? Ah, yeah, yeah, we are getting. Getting? Okay. Inject the viewers. We have seen the frontal recess is blocked. But now, no. how to get into the frontal? See, the frontal, there is no, is total scarring in this recess ah, and we don't see anything. Yeah. Now, this is medial to the middle turbinate. Yeah. So, we have to stay lateral to it. We have to break this scarring ah. carefully and look for the frontal. So, this is the 70 you are looking up. Pardon? You are looking with the 70? Yes, 70 now. Yeah. J curate, J curate. Hmm. Pituitary channel and that's why I'm going to go the middle turbinate which was going to be lateralized and blocked. So, what's the name of the middle this? Yeah. Now, would you like to sacrifice that? What? The that part of the middle turbinate better off? No, 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 no. I would think such patient in such patients is always better to do a trephination to shrink the middle turbinate. Ko. Pardon? I would have nipped off that anterior end. Oh, it's not already so I take a chance. It's not already so I take a chance. I take a I can you show the frontal trephine? Yes. Do we have a frontal trephine? Yes, you see the sinus is here. It's completely scarred and blocked. You see? Oh man, so this is going to be the toughest one. And up here is the sinus. Besides your type 4. Yeah. See this? That is the sinus. Yeah. This is a supraorbital recess, and above is the sinus. This kind of frontal will require definite repeated syringing and trephination is a good idea.
अदरवाइज इट मे गेट ब्लॉक द गेम सी वॉट इज कमिंग आशीष हेलो या 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 वी कैन सी ऑल दिस will be relieved like anything ashish yeah this workshop will go on till next 3 days yeah lot of people are staying and we have to finish up many cases and it will take at least 3 3 days yeah best of luck to you <laughs> <laughs> i am going tomorrow afternoon कमिंग टू वर मॉर्निंग ना वर मॉर्निंग एल बी एट ओ क्लॉक ठीक Now look at the frontal sinus. Yeah, what's there? What's difficult? Na huh? isolated frontal bola, but it's very difficult one. Hmm, it's a difficult one. We just did two isolated frontal. Hmm. एक से पहले किया था एक ये हो गया दो हो गया ना? I would have cut off that tubing. Still cut है क्या? ड्रिल विल प्रोड्यूस मोर रॉ एरिया बहुत या तो फिर पूरे ही करो अभी बिल्लू जा रहा है तू एक दिन तू निकाल के आएगा तू यार Yeah, I am removing this bone. Yeah, and widening it a little bit. Upton silk cut here. Yeah. This is the articulated. Lagega na abhi. Articulated engage. This is the side. 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 Definitely require. I'll remove the anterior wall. Hmm? I'll finish off first.
ये क्या अच्छा यू आर मेकिंग द रॉ एरिया है तो रिमूव दिस बोन ना इतना भी हटा दिया ना मैंने हाँ इट विल बी सफिशियंट ब्लड रिड्रिल दे लाइक या हाँ इट्स टू नेरो या सी दिस या 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 द प्रीवियस कारिंग इज तो कटिंग ला कटिंग करो ये भी रख कट हो गया ना ला जीरो डिग्री आशीष हिज अरेंजिंग द ड्रिल अरे ये नहीं यार अपनी इसकी द ब्रेड में लगने वाली एक लाइवल कैरोटेड है एक लाइवल रिसेस है लेटरल है आशीष या बहुत ज्यादा बोगी हो रखी है मुझको ना देर वाज वन मोर इंटरेस्टिंग केस विच वी कैन की वो तो थॉन वॉल से राकेश पाउस से बिलो द सेला कितनी पैकिंग की हुई थी Ashish, yeah, Satish. So for revision, for everyone, another drill out. Yeah. So it's a zero degree scope. Hello. Ah. Zero degree scope. Yeah. And beginning with this cutting bar. Ah. Sorry, I'm falling off. Sorry. Yeah. Can you see the outer limit? Yeah. Ashish, hello. Ah, yes, sir. Yes, yes. मैंने थोड़ा super fast drilling कर दिया. We are removing the anterior wall of the frontal now. ये तो lateral wall. Yeah, I'm right. Pardon, क्या बोला करो? Are you removing the anterior wall of the frontal now? Yeah. Big. 
This is a micro debrider drill or the neurosurgical drill? Micro debrider. Okay. Which neurosurgical drill you are talking about? The one that you have 70,000 RPM oh, or something. Oh, stylus. Yeah, stylus. Ah, that is auto laryngology drill, yeah. Why neurosurgical? अब आई है ड्यूरा, अब लग रहा है अब ड्यूरा आई है, अच्छा ना, तो, हेलो, यस सर, दारा, तेरा हाउ मच बोन आई रिमूव, या, अन लॉट टू बी फिल, या, सी माय लेटरल लिमिट, आई एम ऑन टू द लिमिट, हम्म I am using zero degree. Yeah. And I won't remove this bone. Look at this, is there articulated punch? Articulated. I'm not going medial to the turbinate. Just stay lateral to the turbinate. Have you seen it? Go on. Hmm? Love. Medicine. This is safe. Yes, it's safe. This area is safe. It's over. Okay. What else? We'll open it. We'll open it. Is that the... Did you break it? Yeah. नहीं किया तो यहीं से ज़्यादा जल्दी के चक्कर में ज़्यादा जोर लगा दिया How thick is the beef? Yeah, it's pretty thick. <laughs> You're planning to do a draft two A? Yes. In this, okay. At least we should give him a draft two A. Yeah. 
Have you reached the skin anterior? Not yet, right? You can see something bluish there. This is the finest mucosa. Okay. I'll debride that with the debrider. First, I'm doing the possible bone work. I will now debride this mucosoid uh, osteum and yeah. show how much of the beginning uh, opening we have given debride of 60. I think the frontal sinus extends much more anteriorly than the yeah. what the what we saw in the frontal recess after we opened it with the debride. Obviously. <laughs> Is there any way we can cover this raw area up? Yeah, a lot of people use mucosal flap. Yeah. But if you give a good douche. So well, whatever mucosa, now mucosal see, flap see, that we now. elevate. Now see, got up. Now he'll do well, we'll keep him on good nasal douche. I could extend further but it's good enough. Superb Satish, brilliant, yes. brilliant, too good. Thank you, thank you dear. Clear? Aha. Uh -huh. It was very fibrous, lot of scarring was there. Not a proper tissue filling. <sighs> Ashish? Yeah. Finally, we are coming to the final round. Three cases are being finished. The only pituitary and a revision frontal bilateral is left. The pituitary has reached to the stage of dura. Uh, which means? It's going to be finished soon.
क्यू थ्री इज ऑलरेडी एट द फाइनल स्टेज बहुत जरा एक्सपोजर दिखाओ ना पॉप ऑफ करके बढ़िया था हाँ दिख रहा है दिख रहा है रियल चैलेंजिंग केस रिविजन केस ऑलरेडी आउटसाइड यूर सीन लॉट्स ऑफ फाइब्रोसिस दो आई एम श्योर द वे न्यूरो सर्जन इज डन प्रीवियसली टू द माइक्रोस्कोप द ट्यूमर कैनॉट बी रिमूव कम्प्लीटली बट मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम बिलीव मी प्रैक्टिकली विद अ स्टेक बाय अफ सी कमर बट पंकज हैज अर्न अ रिस्पेक्ट डिफरेंट टोटल इज डिफरेंट ही वेन एवर ही डज ही रिमूव हंड्रेड परसेंट हाँ ये दे नहीं एक एक वो रोटेशनल पार्टी में डालो यार तुम लोग दूसरे ले लेना इसमें एक्स्ट्रा कैप्सूलर लेना पड़ेगा तो अरे पोस्ट तो अरे बहुत डिफिकल्ट है जूरा जो है ना बड़ी थिक है हाँ तो बहुत ट्यूमर दिख रहा है लेकिन बिल्कुल भी सकेबल नहीं है इसको एक्स्ट्रा कैप्सूलर ही करना पड़ेगा डाउन अरे खुली नहीं है ना बहुत ठीक है हेलो या आज Field open both the maxillary. आप बच्चे बस दूर रहो बहुत ही थिक है हाँ बहुत थिक
the compromise in the kerala uh, this uh, pituitary surgery starts with the compromise in the exposure exposure yeah kerala should be exposed from carotid to carotid yeah thomas hmm what the cell we will divide the 40 wala i want to see the ठीक है ये ऊपर व्हाट इज दिस 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 एरिया बोन दिस एरिया बोन है बिल्कुल इंफेक्टेड बोन है ऑस्टाइटिस हो Yeah, yeah. This is the optic now. Yeah. Here it is. Yes, yes. Very nicely we can see. Maybe on this looks like where the septa is going. Yeah. Is the carotid prominent? Okay. What is this? Fibrosis. All fibrosis. See. Yeah, the kind of bone has become zebra like. <laughs> like the skin of zebra. I'm removing this mucosa. See the carotid prominence on this side. This is the carotid. Now the carotid is not visible. Now see the opening. See that, isn't it, Garrison? Hello. Yeah. Now this is our opening. Still bone there. What is this? Yeah. Looks like dura. यहाँ पे bone अलग है यहाँ पे मैंने feel किया है ये यहाँ पे cleavage अलग है. This looks like dura. Yeah. I don't know. All fibrous tissue. See, it's all fibrous tissue. Yeah. उधर उधर आई बड़ी बस रैम रिमूविंग ये फैटवेट डाला होगा पहले फैटवेट डाला होगा पहले फैट भी खूब निकला है सी प्रीवियस सर्जन पैक विद द फैट See the bony opening. Yeah. The bony opening is very small. Dura. Yeah. This is dura for sure, but this is the bony opening. This has to be enlarged. See. Mm. Yeah. Too small a opening. 
रिविजन केसेज आर ऑलवेज चैलेंजिंग फाइब्रोसिस डिस्टॉर्टेड एनाटमी मोर ब्लीडिंग थोड़ा सक्षम दूर कर See, I am exposing more and more anterior aspects. हेलो जैन सर हेलो सर इज देर एनी रोल ऑफ अल्ट्रासोनिक एस्पिरेटर इन रिमूवल ऑफ पिट्यूटरी और एनी अदर ट्यूमर्स अदर ट्यूमर इट हैज डेफिनेटली गॉट एंड आई हैव यूज अल्ट्रासोनिक एस्पिरेटर इन अकॉस्टिक न्यूरोमा रिमूवल इज इट हैविंग एनी रोल इन पिट्यूटरी एडिनोमस नो नो ट्री इज नो रोल वॉज नॉट नीडेड मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम द कंसिस्टेंसी इज सो सॉफ्ट See, whatever it is, but uh, pituitary, I won't advocate or for the need of this kusa. But yes, for the acoustic neuroma, it makes her life so easy. The last acoustic we removed in two yeah. hours. Yes, it is used in meningiomas also. Yeah, in meningioma, it is very useful. And in tumor, more tough tumors, more vascular. बाइपोलर हेलो या सो द एक्सपोजर इज मच बेटर नाउ इट कैन बी एक्सटेंडेड अ लिटिल बेटर स्टिल आई एम आइडियली पानी डालना 
कोई कॉटरी देखो यार किसी को बोलना यार ये क्या अनिल को बोला ना
I started removing the tumor. The anterior wall flap could not be. I did not see it or it was difficult for it. Just open the cella. Thank you. Thank you. चलाएंगे ना इंजीनियरिंग शुरू करो Probably. Because once you we press it now, then there is bleeding. Then? Then there is bleeding. Otherwise, no bleeding. When you press it. Yeah. This is a sign of Javanus. Yes. So, it's a line that I am going to tell you. So, it's a line that I am. ये दस सेक्शन पर है। दो मिनट है ना? पंद्रह का ना सेक्शन? सेक्शन दूसरा है, वो पिटूट्री वाला है सेक्शन, ये वाला See, this is all tumors. Hello? Yeah. Yes, yeah, Satish. Revision cases, sometimes you do not know what the previous surgeon has done. Sometimes no. There always. was some oozing for the cavernous for which I packed the 
उसको फेंक दिया नहीं चाहिए इतनी मोटी फर्सत ना नरेश अरे अनिल कोई बात फिल बना के रख लिया हेलो या सतीश कैन यू सी द डायफ्राम अब यस वी कैन देर इज सम ऊजिंग फ्रॉम दिस साइड ऑफ द केवर नट प्रॉब्लम प्रीवियस सर्जन हैज नॉट रिमूव द ट्यूमर रिकंस्ट्रक्टेड द सेल विद द फैट एंड ऑल आई डोंट नो व्हाट यू हैव डन यू कुड नॉट मेक अ प्रॉपर फ्लैप ड्यूरो वाज सो टफ हम लोग थोड़ा सा रिसल देना है वो मेरो से ले हेलो हेलो या 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 आशीष आई एम यूजिंग माय बोथ हैंड्स पक्कल बोस इज होल्डिंग द टेलीस्कोप ओके दैट्स हाउ वी आर डूइंग
हेलो या सतीश जो सी देयर वाज अ ओजिंग फ्रॉम दिस साइड के वन आर आई जस्ट ट्राई विद द सजेशन एंड दैट इज द सॉल्यूशन फॉर दैट Now, can you see the diaphragm on this side? Yeah. the tumor is the proper place so how do you differentiate between tumor and the diaphragm the tumor dumbbell shape which was going up i can feel it is being sucked in continuous this is this tumor i don't know it as well साइड से तो डिफरेंट हो गया ऊपर है ना उसमें ट्यूमर साइड बचा है हेलो या आशीष या विथ दीज टू इंस्ट्रूमेंट आई एम कंटिन्यूसली सकिंग द ट्यूमर आउट या फिर दिस इज अ डायफ्रॉम या या आई कैन सी इट वेरी क्लियरली ऑल लुकिंग क्लीन इट्स अ चैलेंजिंग सिचुएशन पानी देना मेरे को कॉल्ड वाली लगाना कॉल्ड कॉल्ड नहीं रखा गिरा ना दिखता नहीं है सारे कुछ कुछ ज़्यादा कुछ कॉल कॉल सेक्शन लेके छोटा वाला कुछ ज़्यादा कॉल दे मेरे से ये नहीं चलेगा सोमा कर देगा वो मेलियबल वाला ना ना तूने बना भी लिया उड़ने वाला उड़ने वाला तैयार 
Okay. Come on now, baby. सर ना क्या अभी क्यूरेट है एक्शन क्या वो मगर छोटा काउंट क्यूरेट है दे दे एक बार दे तो सही आएगा वो तो हमारे भी फ्लश करने पे आएगा हम्म दे दे Ashish. Hello. Ah, sorry, the mic was off. Yes. Yeah. Can you see the diaphragm descending? Yes, yes. I am not concerned with this severness fusing at all. You are not concerned. What's my point? This Once point, it falls, it will stop? I am concerned with the tumor. Move forward, under jaw. Under jaw, hold on. See, the diaphragm is falling now. Ah. One dimple which is suspicious that why this part of the diaphragm is not coming down. No dinner? Four more. I don't see any tumor. Can you see? Yeah. See this entire diaphragm. Yeah. It's all such. But this dimple is always a, a, gives a suspicion that there could be some fold of tumor in this. So I am just exploring this. डिंपल बताओ कमिंग वाइ नॉट दिस वन क्या कहते हो दिख तो नहीं रहा देखो देखो कमिंग यूनिफॉर्मली दिस साइड आल्सो कमिंग हेलो या सतीश डायफ्राम या सी आई एम नॉट कंसर्न विद दिस ब्लीडिंग हेलो हेलो या डेट स्टॉप सी स्टॉप विद द मेरोसेल ओनली या अल्टीमेटली यू जस्ट पैक विद द लेयर ऑफ सर्जरी सेल द जेल फॉर्म my only concern is this part of the diaphragm. In spite of see, something is holding this diaphragm. That gives us. No pump.
only concern is this. Is that something? Yeah. Hello? Ah, yeah. The wall cell Yeah. You can see the diaphragm which has come down under jaw. So explore the cella completely. See the dorsum cella? Yes. And this is all arachnoid. This is falling. Except at this dimple, which I failed to understand. Could be some fibrosis or something which is preventing. See? There is no tumor at all. What are you worried about? ये तो थिन है कि क्यों नहीं हेलो या ये तो फिर तो थिन है कि क्यों नहीं Now see the complete arachnoid. Now the dimple is gone. I have opened the cleft completely. Not as flattened out. Give it a wash, it's thick.
डाल देता हेलो हाँ सी द इन साइड ऑफ द सेला हेलो या सी द डायफ्राम अब या और इट्स अ कंप्लीट रिमूवल सी द थिन रेक्टोइड मैंने उसको बोला यार दिस रेक्टोइड इज सो थिन इवन द स्लाइटेस्ट ट्रोमा कैन लीड टू सीएसएफ लीक Ashish, yeah. So it's done. Yeah. See the thin arachnoid. Oh. Mm. See this bluish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's so thin. Right. Yeah. Even a slight trauma can lead to a CSF leak. Pass, let it go. जस्ट सर्जी सेल एंड लेटल विथ जेल फॉर्म ठीक है एब्सोल्युटली क्लियर सेक्शन नो फैट पैक इज रिक्वायर्ड नो सी एस एफ लीक के लिए एब्सोल्युटली क्लियर सेला हेलो हाँ ये तो फाइनल पिक्चर या या फैंटेस्टिक ये तो कंप्लीट सेला और ये तो पल्सेशन सब तो एरेक्नोइड ब्रेन पल्सेशन के लिए सी या हाँ अभी अभी देखता ही फाइनल क्या हेलो हेलो या सतीश That signifies that the arachnoid is free. That the arachnoid has dropped down good enough. Yeah. Now all for the pani there. What is it now? Action low. हाँ, नोचिल डाउन है। नोचिल के ऊपर। नोचिल लगा दूँ। नोचिल डाउन है। जरूरत लग रही है आप? नोचिल बना दिया। निकाला जाओ। आशीष। या या या। Looking at the cavernous bleeding, you got the first flow seal prepared. I am just applying the flow seal to show you. Otherwise, now it looks but just to show you. Let's go. 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 आधा तो इसी में रह जाएगा। कभी ऐसे करके हवा थोड़ी और कर ले, और कर ले। ऐसे सही है, ऐसे कोई फर्क नहीं, हाँ लगा। तो आप? या? या। 
So if you put in simple words, the two main aims of a pituitary surgery have been fulfilled. Complete tumor removal and no CSF leak. Yeah. That's the flow field. See? What is this? Flow field. Now, this is soft. No, no, no. See? Yeah. It doesn't need any packing now. Okay. That's all. So we just put flow seal yeah, and leave it. It won't so allow even a single drop of blood. See how it looks? Yeah. <laughs> So, so So he has already done bilateral uh, uh, maxillary work. Septoplasty has done bilateral septoplasty, turbinoplasty, and maxillary work. Huh? So last two frontals of the workshop. Yes. Ashish. Yeah. Getting the picture? Yeah. Yes? Yeah, yeah, getting the picture. See, this is the upper part of the ancinate. It's a revision case. Now the yeah. previous surgeon has not removed even the ancinate completely. See? Yeah, first bilateral. Ah. This side frontal done. Yeah. Last four said this. The divider is for you. What's my bed? See, they are fungus. Yeah. Widen the opening. Mm. I'll just make sure whether it has been widened up to the limits or not. See what is coming out. Suction. Fungus. Yeah. Now see the sinus from inside. Yeah. Now look at the sinus. Yes. White. Yeah. So this side frontal is done. Now I'll yeah. move to the other side frontal. Yeah. Either get opening that I'll do it. To the limits. Uh, 
अल्टीमेट ब्लेड बॉक्स सी दिस सेल एट द फ्रंटल ऑस्ट्रियम विच वेरी आई वॉन्ट टू रिमूव नॉट लुक एट द फ्रंटल ओपनिंग बट स्टिल इट इज नॉट अप टू द लिमिट या बेटर वेरी नाइस नो अब दे मेरे को सिक्सटी सी या इफ यू लीव हियर यू मे कम बैक सी द सेल लाइक टू सेल्स ना वॉट आई डू नाउ कट अपकंड कट है क्या फिर सेल रुको ना क्या बात अपकंड फॉर सेप्स सिंपल अपकंड फॉर सेप्स फोन आया था मेरे पास भी सी आशीष या यू कैन इमेजिन इट इज सो इजी टू लीव इट्स अ नेचुरल टेंडेंसी टू द सर्जन द मूवमेंट द फ्रंटल इज ओपन डन Can you see Ashish now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very limits. Nice. Yeah. The message is yeah. to go to the limits. Yes. See, still mm. there is a septa. Yeah, there is a little bit. Yeah. Think how many cells and septa Now the posterior table is flushed yeah fantastic so this side frontal is now done yeah see to yeah. the limits the beak above lamina laterally and the terminate medially yeah so don't do this much the patient may come back any time so now the other side frontal yes and then we'll call it a day let's have anybody's anybody who wants to make comment about the, specifically about the frontal what they learned in this workshop who Bibu? were never confident and wanted no, to become confident whatever you can add it to their confidence some feedback people who are already doing uh, doesn't make any difference to them yeah no but i'm sure there is always something to learn sir uh, uh, sadish sir yes uh, during the whole last uh, today and yesterday we have cleared lot of doubts and facts about the frontal recess and uh, how to approach the uh, different frontal recess anatomy it has definitely added to our confidence no doubt about it that's great boss then our aim is fulfilled good 
Have you got anything tangible you want to say, specific? I mean, that's in general uh, the limits, boundaries. Yeah, okay. That's yeah, the concept of landmark is very much pitted in our minds now. Yeah. Anything that is not the middle turbinate, you have to get there. Anything that is not the lamina, you have to get there. So, and anything that Ashish, is not the skull base, yeah. My right frontal? Yeah. Only one instrument I use. Only micro divider. Yeah. There is really nothing to fear out there. Yeah. See, the entire frontal sinus yeah. cleared with one instrument. Now see the frontal. Uh -huh. See the frontal recess. Yeah, yeah. My limits. Yeah, yeah. Laterally with lamina, medially with turbinate, posteriorly with the skull base, and anteriorly you see the uh, this thing wash, wash. Weak. See this? So this side is also done. Yeah. I show you the pus and fungus kind of a thing. See? Yeah. Yes, fantastic. Completely mucosalized. Yeah. Incomplete, incomplete. That's well mucosalized. Mm. See? Yeah, yeah. So very folks, nice. Okay, folks. So finally, thank you very much. OT staff, thank you if you all are listening to me. <laughs>